okay hello everyone welcome to this quick how to that explains how you can set the location of your database file so that it can always be with your executable this is very important if you are gonna move your application from one machine into another now first thing is that uh, you should have a database as you can see here it has a table with a primary key for testing purpose and now uh, you will start a new application you will add a data source press next you will specify a new connection browse for the database file open it test the connection you must get a successful test press ok then you press next now this window is very important what it asks is what is, it is asking you if whether you want the application to find the database always in the same location of the executable this means that if you move your application with the database into another machine you will have no problem so first let's press yes press next select the tables press finish okay no problem with that okay so you can see the database here included uh, let's display the database on the form okay let's save okay so now this one is saved let's run okay so this is it it's, it's running no problem let's press this one D no problem save this one okay so I am gonna stop this minimize this one uh, to make sure I will delete this okay for now I will change the location of the executable go to documents and search for Visual Studio folder go to you should find something called projects and go to the last project you are working with go to the bin directory debug you'll find the executable with the database when you move your application to another machine usually both of those files should be together and they won't will not be stored in the same location instead I'm gonna move them into this new folder so this is a new path totally different path okay so now uh, first I'm gonna empty this database to make sure that I am using the this database okay and I am gonna run this one you can see hello this is a test and bye bye okay so let's save this and now I'm closing it to make sure this one is updated double click it and double click on the form you can see this is it now what happens if I move this one to the database uh, to the desktop and run the application I will get an error put it back to the same location or let's say I move both of those to the desktop and double click it it works fine okay so this is basically the first uh, a, fir a first step okay uh, now we have another problem what if you do it in another way meaning that you didn't include the database in uh, in the uh, in your application uh, if you open app.config file this this file is telling your application where it can find the database and here there's something very interesting the data source here it it, it specifies the uh, the path by by using pipe and between the pipe is data directory okay so this is very important and we will see how first uh, we well, I'm gonna start a new project okay I'm gonna set the compile options okay advanced compile option just to avoid the error of 64 bit okay now I'm gonna set a data source database new connection select the one on the desktop test the connection 
press OK, press Next. Now it's, it's, it is asking me if I want to include the database. I will press No. OK, press Next, select the table, Finish. Now I'm going to drop the table here on the form. No problem with that. Now uh, I can run this one. Okay, so now it is accessing the database on the desktop. Okay, what I am gonna do, I am gonna move it here. Okay, uh, okay, try again, try again. Wait a minute, I think uh, I'm still. Wait a minute, uh, yeah, okay, now this. Uh, applications access in the database on the desktop and if I go to app.config I will find that this path is always pointing to the to the desktop on my machine okay if you move this application into another into another machine it will always ask you to place the database in this path all you have to do is replace this one with data directory because of that your application will start searching for the database in the same uh, place of the executable okay so to make it work uh, we're gonna copy this one copy and let's go oh gosh sorry go to documents um, where is that? Visual Studio and projects. Go to the last one here, here, debug. Okay, I'm gonna paste the database here and now run the application. Okay, now this is this is my database, right? okay just to make sure that it is the the correct one I'm gonna close uh, Visual Basic altogether I'm gonna delete this one I'm gonna run the application it's, it is displaying the data I will close it I will move this one to the desktop and I'm gonna run the application I'm getting an error okay I'm gonna move the executable I'm gonna run the application works fine okay so this is basically how you you sh uh, you can change or make your application smart enough to know where to locate the database okay all you have to do is uh, all you have to do is go and and change the app.config sor data source to point to the same location of the executable Th you do it only if you didn't include the database with your application if you include it uh, Visual Basic will do all of this by default okay so that's all I hope this uh, helps you out have a nice day and thank you for watching bye bye